I'm here at Marina Square today because the allegedly number one fried chicken joint in Korea has now landed in Singapore. And by like number one, I don't mean like uh, reviews or people think. They are number one in sales for eight years straight or something like that. To be the best in sales in Seoul, the city with perhaps one of the best fried chicken game in the world, they have to be doing something right. So I'm here on opening day. Hopefully the queue isn't too crazy. Let's get it boys. Uh, one. Yes, that really happened. What is this Chinese New Year? Yes, auntie is still single. No auntie, single means one person. <laughs> I queued for 30-40 minutes for 15-20 people. Very fine, fine for opening day. But something is wrong. A lot of people are not eating. Food is coming out very slowly. There are a lot of people just looking at each other. Just from the 20-30 minutes I'm here, I've seen at least 7 times that the staff are confirming with each other whether the order is correct or not. And just now, just as I got in, they closed for the first half. Which is very common for restaurants, but they did not put this in their Google opening hours or on Facebook. More likely than not, something is wrong in the kitchen and they have to... I don't know, we said about a quarter of the restaurant is cordoned off for media tasting. And you might be wondering, Eldrick, why aren't you there? Why else? Not enough cloud, not enough cloud. Please help a brother out, subscribe, click on the bell notification. So BHC Chicken stands for Better Healthier Choice. Interesting name for a fried chicken joint. They have a few flavors, the Berberinko, the Macho King, the Retro, all available in either whole, a whole chicken, wings or boneless. There's also things like Go King and Chipong Dang. I'll try to taste as much as I can. <laughs> and obviously, being Korean fried chicken is not cheap. Oh, there's also classic Korean food like Samgat Tang, Topoki, Raboki, Spicy Fish Cake, and even Soju and Beer, which tells me it's not halal. <laughs> and, it's, and it is indeed not halal. Yeah. One Red King Soto, one yeah. Matuking Bonus, yeah. one Red King Wings, and yeah. one Red King Wings. Item number one, Soto. Red King Soto, 590 plus plus. First item of the day. <laughs> the Tokpoki, the rice cake, has a crispy exterior to it. Really nice, I'm not sure if you, if, if you all can hear it. The cocktail sausage is the cocktail sausage and it's doused in this sweet like really basic gochujang sauces. Good start, good start. I'll give it like a 7. Done well, nothing surprising. I started queuing at 3, got seated at 3.30. It is now 4.10 and I just ate a sotok. I think I might get my last item <laughs> by 5.10. Maybe. Is that too much to hope? Time now is 4.24, almost an hour in now. A lot of people have left and we are just clearing it off. I think they are trying to catch up to the backlog. This is the restaurant now. Next up, we have Boneless Macho King. This looks very familiar. It looks like something that you might get at a Zita store. We have garlic, chilies, and probably soy sauce. First chicken bite of the day. What time is it now? 4.30, 4.30. One hour in, one hour in. <laughs> the amazing thing about Korean fried chicken, right, is how it remains its crispiness, right, despite having the sauce. That's what they do best. But it is not the case here. <laughs> the sauce is okay, the cause is decent, but the batter is now gooey. It's very Thai fun. I, I, can't, I cannot say that I enjoy this. This, all this, oh, but this is quite a lot though. For $27.90, there was a plan to leave their signature dish until the very end. But at this rate, I don't know <laughs> when <laughs> will the last dish be out. So, new plan, we are going straight to their signature dish. The Burberrinkle Chicken. The burr comes from a Korean word for sprinkle, and then the wrinkle comes from sprinkle. So the point of the dish is to, you know, sprinkle this cheesy dust on it. Oh, they use the Korean technique. This is what we saw at uh, Oven and Fried Chicken, but not so uh, obvious. They expose the, the meat by slicing it in. So instead of cutting it open, they just poked it. <laughs> Bubble wrinkle. Mm. 
More chicken than expected for one whole chicken. At least the chicken is good size. I'm not even confident whether it belongs to the same chicken or whether they got count the parts or not. There seems to be a bit too much if you split out the parts. Chicken is decent, decently tender, juicy, but it is slightly impossible that this chicken is not hot. It's warm at best. But how is that possible when the ch when the kitchen is struggling to push food out? Everything that's leaving the kitchen should be piping hot. Should be straight out of the fryer because they are in a crunch, right? No food has time to be cooling down. The powder is not bad, but it's not good either. It's not good enough. Okay, wait, what? It's not good enough to be put on chicken. If you want to come up with a sweet, cheesy, flavorful uh, powder, right? In order for it to add to fried chicken, to make fried chicken more delicious, it must be seasoned really, really well. If it's too sweet, too cheesy, or slightly cloy, then I think it defeats the purpose. I don't prefer powder on my chicken, but I think even objectively for powder eaters, this powder is not great. I have three of my six items, three. Now it's 4.45. Almost there, almost there. If there is a moment to clutch it, this is it. The retro chicken just came and it is warm. It is actually warm, I can feel it. Oh, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. Yes, yes. Yes. One bite to clutch it. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh okay. Properly fried. Finally, same as the Barbarico chicken. The amount is a lot for one chicken. It was 30 plus, but I think this 30 plus can feed two hungry people, three people. The batter is very nice. Like what Korean fried chicken does, it's like really thin, really crispy. I don't know how they manage their flour composition, but Korean fried chicken is just different. I was a bit worried during the Barbarinko chicken that they will not do Korean fried chicken justice but this this retro one is proper Korean fried chicken. This is what you expect if you go into any fried chicken joint. So the chicken is cooked very well, very juicy, very fatty actually. And close to the bone, it does not stink. Anyway, while we were biting the chicken, at 4.57, we got our last item, the Red King Wings. So we have everything on the table right now. Let's wrap things up with the Red King Wings. The Red King wings is this plus this. Not bad, but I'm not a fan of how sweet it is. Well, it's really quite sweet. Huh? And that's it. Obviously overordered. It's also kind of strange that I cannot try in a platter, right? I cannot try all the flavors in a platter. So I had to order everything. <laughs> Do you think I want to be eating so much fried chicken? It's all because of you all. So please, subscribe. <laughs> okay, let's wrap things up, literally. I hope they allow me to tap out. We will digest and then conclude with the verdict. See you all in a while. Recap. On the whole, I didn't like the flavored ones. It might be a personal preference that I don't like to add other flavors to my fried chicken. And if I do add it right, the flavor must be really, really good. It must add on top of the fried chicken. And I don't think that the Red King, the Macho King, or the Burinko did that. But that is not to take away anything from the retro chicken. It is still a very good recipe. It has the classic Korean batter that we had at Oven and Fried and Waker Chicken. If it was judged on its own, BHC Chicken would have gotten a two drumsticks on the fried chicken scale. And I think they do deserve the two drumsticks. But not yet. The biggest thing today is the operations. I don't think they got the operations down. From cooking to serving to, to managing people at the counter to confirming orders to payment. Everything was pretty messy today. Even the platform that I was sitting on, <laughs> the platform, I was in a high traffic area granted, but everybody who passed by, right, I can feel their footsteps. It feels like my chair is depressing into the platform just for a little bit. And if you're there for two hours, <laughs> it can get pretty annoying. So for that, I'm taking away one drumstick. And BHC Chicken gets one drumstick. Always exciting to have a new brand in town. I think they can be competitive, but not yet. Maybe I'll revisit 
sometime in the future. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys this time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.